Hi, I'm Mikey Dredd. Welcome to Bowling Science. Today, we're going on a field trip. While we're on our way to see the special guest today, I want to tell you about some exciting things happening with Bowling Science. We have partnered with Bowlify and we'll be doing a giveaway on our race to a thousand subscribers. It's easy to enter and win your own Bolify custom jersey. All you have to do is thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the link in the description and head over to Bolify.com through the Bowling Science page. Comment down below when you've completed that and let me know what your favorite bowling ball is right now. When the page hits a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'll pick one lucky winner from the comments below and you'll get a free jersey thanks to Bolify. If you see anything you like while you're over on the Bolify website, go ahead and use code Bowling Science to save yourself some money. Looks like we're here. Let's go see who we'll find. How you doing, Dad? Okay, how are you? We're doing well. Would you, would you, would you bring a mouse with you? I brought a mouse in my pocket. Yeah, you got a mouse. I brought YouTube with me, too. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. The purpose of today's visit was to analyze my game, check my axis point and tilt, and maybe offer some coaching suggestions from the man himself. The first step in this process is to throw a few shots so that we can trace the first oil ring and start to get some real statistics and numbers. That one was pretty good. Now Mo can trace the oil ring off my ball. Yep. Mopey's a lefty. Now that we have that traced around, he grabs a prosect so that he can measure the diameter across the distance of my track. This number is key as we use it and the axis tilt conversion chart to find out exactly what my axis tilt is. We now use an axis point locating tool called an armadillo to locate the exact point of the axis upon release. You'll see Mo using the center of the grip to locate the axis point. Accurately locating your axis point is a very important part of getting layouts correct on future bowling balls. I wonder where my axis point will end up. Looks like about four and a quarter over by three eighths up. After marking that down on my drill sheet, he grabs a piece of tape so that we can visually verify the location of my access point. Looks like we were close, but just off. Let's adjust that piece of tape and try again. That's the spot. After measuring my tilt, we determined that I have 20 degrees of tilt, which is more than what we were looking for for me. Because of this, we're gonna make my grip a little more ring finger dominant. So here my dad takes the specs off of my best fitting ball so that we can make the adjustments. After getting the technical stuff out of the way, Mo offers me a coaching tip. So let's head to the lanes and see what that looks like. He suggested more waistband so that I'd be less upright at the point of release and I could deliver the ball more smoothly into the lane. For me to do this effectively, I had to get my hips back and further left in the stance so that I could be balanced throughout the approach. Here are a few shots of me applying that concept to my game. I'd like to thank everyone for their continued support of the channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, click the link in the description, and comment below with your favorite ball to enter to win your own free Bolify jersey. When Bowling Science reaches a thousand subscribers, I'll choose one comment from below randomly to win the prize. Thanks again for watching, and here's a few shots of Radical staff member Brandon Johnson throwing strikes.